It is always an inside job. We always win from the thing. I was just coming out of my garden, which is one of the places that I have a tendency to do some of my deeper thinking. <laughs> one of the reasons I absolutely love gardening, it's, I was gonna say threefold, but I'm not even sure the number of ways that my life is blessed um, with my hands in the dirt, growing organic food and watching the growth process and also having an added space, like a sacred space for, for thinking. And this morning I was thinking about how there are times, instances, or circumstances where, where you will notice a person who according to the world's statistics, isn't really qualified, but they are doing absolutely amazing things. Like everything is clicking, especially as it relates to business. For those of you, if this is your first time listening to me, I am the growth strategist. My name is Tanya Wilson and I am a master life and business coach. And I focus from a three-point perspective, personal growth, uh, business building, and abundance mindset. And a lot of my work at the core deals with helping people with their personal power, helping them understand that what is going on on the inside of them creates the reality on the outside of them, like what they actually have. And as I continue to help my clients go through new levels, I'm always observing how different people move in the process of the strategies that I give them for business. So in some instances, some people will be super qualified, but very, very hesitant on doing the work. Then there will be people who have not had the practice, but they have this amazing desire for that next level. So they'll go and do the thing. But what I've noticed in totality for most people, most of us even, is that there will be seasons where things are hit or miss or that new thing that you desire, it may come in. Say, for instance, you may have an amazing month in your business where you know, you make your first 15K month, but then that next month is like, okay, what happened? And a lot of what's going on is things that are transpiring in our conscious and subconscious programming. So consciously, yes, we want the thing and we may say the affirmations, but on the inside, from a subconscious level, that's when we're peeling the layers back there are things going on within the soul level that's the area i call the soul level your mind your will your emotions your beliefs all the things that isn't a match for what it is you really desire so this is where you may see someone as i stated who in a world sense isn't qualified like on paper but they're making it happen gap <laughs> And then you may have this person over here who has degrees and they continue to get more degrees and more certifications and all of the things And on paper, they qualify, but internally, they're not a vibrational match for what they're calling in. So if there's a space where you don't believe you're worthy, uh, where your inner work has not been calibrated to be a match for what you desire, the person who doesn't have all the titles and degrees and all the other things will get the thing and be flowing in it, right? And this could be a little uncomfortable for us to embrace, but it is reality. Uh, the person who may not be as qualified on paper has an inner knowing and a belief that they are entitled to that thing that they desire. And I don't mean 
entitled like in a negative sense so bring your mind and your heart here they feel they are worthy they believe they deserve it there are some limiting beliefs that they have overcome or they simply didn't have that allowed them to be a match for what they were calling in and all of this is located in the aspect of personal power and i in the work that i do i've decided that helping women step into their personal power now i i work with some men too privately but helping them step into their personal power is like the core of it all. It, we can't leave that off the table because if we don't personally feel empowered to do a thing, we don't do a thing. Now, this is why I talk about titles so much because the collective bets on the titles and often face disappointment. They'll pile on titles but overlook their power that is within. And it's always about substance. It's always been an energetic vibrational match for whatever it is that you're calling in. And I actually, maybe over the last few months, you know, knew I needed to focus so much on personal power that I created a complete uh, private coaching opportunity called Identity Shifting to specifically focus on that because I understand what's holding people back. It's always the frequency that is constant within you that calls things into your life. And when you want them to stay, when you no longer want them to be hit or miss, this is when you found that space of alignment. And there are things that you do on a daily and a regular basis in order to uh, renew your mind to that particular state. But all of it is what's going on in your soul. There are some extremely qualified people who won't go after it, whatever their it is, be it relationship, business, all the things, they won't go after it fully. They won't receive. And I say receive because everything that we desire has already been created. It's already there. We just have to co-create, right, in order to receive it. But they won't receive it because of what's going on within, not knowing that they're absolutely amazing. It is always an inside job. We always win from within. That's my take on today. If you're looking for added support, you know I need an identity shift. I know I need to work on my abundance mindset, my personal power, my business building, all the things and you desire to create a lifestyle you love. Maybe you've evolved, right? In your conscious mind but not in your subconscious mind. And you wanna become a match for those higher things that you're calling in, reach out to me. My website is renewfullcircle.com or you can always instant message me on one of the social media platforms. Have an amazingly blessed day, peace and abundance.